On this week's episode of Motivational Minutes, Joe Moglia shares his number one leadership skill for those who want to succeed in business. If you had one particular rule for young people out there, or not even young people, but someone maybe who's looking to get into business, and there's this one leadership skill that you said is the, that you would think is the one above all else that they might want to master or hone, would that uh, would that be possible to have one skill? But if there were, what would it be for you? It is absolutely positive. And this should, if I gave you a test on this and you really thought about it, I'd expect you to get the right answer. That one principle is you stand on your own two feet and you take responsibility for yourself. That's it. There's no excuses. So if you think you might want to do a certain thing, for example, with your career one day, well, what are the skill sets required for that particular career path? Number one, that's number one. Number two, really analyze. Be honest. Don't think about what your mother wants or your girlfriend wants or your partner wants or your, your sibling wants or your teacher or coach wants. What is it just you and God by yourself? Examination concept. What are my real skill sets? If I really understand those and I understand the skill sets that are required to, to be successful in a particular field, if I don't have those skill sets, do not go down that path. If I do have those skill, skill sets, ask yourself one more question. Would this be something I would really enjoy doing? Would this be something I'd be passionate about? Uh, I'm passionate about the things I've done in my life. You're passionate about what you're doing now. Mm -hmm. And if you're not, then it's a job. If you are, it's more of a career path. So there's one principle. You are taking responsibility for yourself. And that means you don't sit there like a mummy and hope things turn out okay. It means you go out and you learn. uh, What's one of the most important things we got to pick? What our career path is. So how much time and thought and, and do we really, really devote to that? Who's responsible for that? You are. So the one leadership principle, you take responsibility for yourself. The one add one other thing, and this is not just about leadership, is that you always treat others with dignity and respect. That's it. With regards to the financial crisis, um, Wall Street 100% is at fault. Wall Street is the reason why the firms blew up and had the issues that they had. What happened was after 9-11, when interest rates were driven really, really, really low, we went through a pretty significant, very serious recession and issues. This is also the dot-com bubble bursting. And then we have the 9-11 crisis. So there weren't many of the industries that Wall Street normally makes money on that were doing well. But because with interest rates low, the housing market started to pick up. People started to, started to get mortgages, mm-hmm. and that started to explode. So people started putting more and more emphasis on that because they weren't making a lot of money anyplace else. Right. That was what was going on. So when when people started to cheat a little bit in terms of, you know, these loans are really not AAA loans. They're really like junk bonds. They're, they're, they're not going to make it. Or when uh, and some individual was getting a big commission on being able to provide somebody with a mortgage that that mortgage person didn't even qualify for. Mm. But he wasn't worried about that. He wasn't taking responsibility for that. He should have because mm. he did, he was he was taking, uh, he was putting himself ahead of what the needs would have been of the client. Mm. Now the individual, if I'm only making $30,000 and I think I'm never gonna get a home. And all of a sudden I see, hey, I could get a home. I can get, I really get a home because I get this mortgage. Well, frankly, I'm probably so consumed with that dream that I probably yeah. never thought you ever have. I do it. I can see where that would happen. That does not mean you're not responsible, though. Right. So if you struggle and you're cash poor because you can't make the payments on your mortgage, you can't. That's on you. you got to be able to recognize that. You're still going to make the decision. But I can see how those decisions were made. That yeah. doesn't let you off the hook. So everybody was a fault there. I mean, I, I, I look back. I can't think of anybody that was right during that period. Yeah. Yeah. It was really fascinating to me. I saw an example where um, there was a guy who was a janitor and that was literally his title janitor. And he made, um, you know, maybe 30 something thousand a year. And when it came time for him to apply for this home, they creatively gave him, gave him the title of, he was a custodial engineer. Yes. And, you know, and, yeah. and, and then inflated all the numbers. And I was like, wow. So I thought to myself, you know, the guy himself, you know, is really at fault for participating in that. But yeah, I won't beat up, you know, that I won't beat on that dead horse. That's yeah, but sometimes, Corey, what happens though is sometimes you take advantage of somebody who might be weaker than you. Mm-hmm. And this particular case is somebody that's not financially astute, has has a dream in front of them that they never thought they'd be able to realize. And you're taking advantage of that emotion. You're mm-hmm. wrong. You should know better. But over here, the person that's doing it is still accountable for what his or her actions are. Yeah, that's very but they true. were taking advantage of it. Subscribe today for more inspiration on the go.